Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another episode of my Resident Evil gameplay series. Now, I just edited it to right when I walk into the door, you know, to the snake boss because I know you guys have been waiting for this. But you know what? I couldn't verse him because I didn't have any ammo and I needed more space, you know, for my items and stuff. But here he is. Here's Yawn. I remember when I like first was playing the game and I tried to kill him. And I remember there was one time where the death mask didn't spawn and... I had to restart my whole game and it was a really good speed run. Right there I was so afraid that he was going to like hit me and then I was going to be poisoned and I'd have to like go all the way back to that one little safe area where Rebecca was and she, you know, uh, she can heal your wounds. I would have just been like, oh my god, it would have been so annoying. <laughs> but um, there's one thing I forgot to mention. When I was recording, I don't know what happened, but my Elgato for some reason just like didn't record some of the footage and then you'll see like right after the safe room it takes you right to the crimson head boss but i feel like you know the other stuff was boring anyway so i guess it was kind of a good thing right here i managed to pull off some clutch dodges i don't know how i did it because i always get grabbed and attacked by everything but you know right here i was like all right i'm gonna try to bait him into like a side little thing and then i did that and i was so happy because i didn't want to waste any first aids or anything and i didn't have any healing on me so i was like if i would have gotten hit it would be so horrible but right here, you see that Wesker leaves you the note on the side of the wall. And then, like, in the door... Look at, wait, look at this dodge. Like, that's amazing. You know, I hate getting hit by them, but... Um, so, yeah, he leaves you the note on the side of the door. And he pretty much gives you, you know, like, shotgun shells and handgun ammo and first aids. So, you know me, of course, I was all up on that first aid. Like, I need that, for real. So, right here, basically, I'll just give you a rundown. I get the fourth death mask. I get the first aid, and then it just takes you right into the Crimson Head boss because my game, for some reason, didn't record when I was doing the um, little portrait puzzle. But I guess it's fine. And now you'll see why I did save the flash grenade and why I unequipped it. Now, at first he does strike me, but then he does do the grab, and then you'll see that I do, you know, shove the grenade in his mouth, and then I step away and I shoot him. Now, I almost actually died right there from that. That's what's, like, you know, kind of scared me. I was on danger, and thank God I had that first aid, because if I didn't, I probably would have been dead. And that's the honest truth, so, you know, just always make sure that you have your healing with you. And then you see right here, I press the switch, and then, you know, I do get the stone and metal object, you know, to go to, like, that little courtyard area. I call it the little Lisa Trevor house, because, you know, that's where she does, like, bonk you in the back of the head, and you do the whole little cutscene, and then you have to dodge her. That I'm not looking forward to, because I do not want to get hit by her, especially because this is on the hardest difficulty, and... I know on the easier difficulties, they have like herbs outside the house that I would usually save for myself in case I did get hit. But you know, I have been practicing my dodging and hopefully I, you know, can dodge her on the first try. Now you see right here, this is like, you know, the footage that was missing, just me doing this little puzzle. And I just figured, you know, me walking through here again is like kind of like the same thing. You can, you can see the, uh, you know, like the pattern. And basically right here, you know, I walk back in the house. And then I know that I have to dodge a zombie that's right in front of me, but it's just so hard to do it because it's such a narrow hallway. And then, like, I tried to, like, you know, go to the side, but I realized that I what I should have done was I should have went right and then came up a little bit and then, you know, just, like, went around him. But I thought for some reason that if I, you know, went to the wall, he would try to, like, lunge in front of me, but then he didn't. And then I was like, oh, okay, that, that's great. But, you know, what's good about this part is, you know, they do have a flash grenade for you. And there is, you know, another first aid. And that's, you know, I was just so grateful because I really need healing a lot. And, you know, I haven't played this in a while. So, of course, I'm going to want to have something to heal me constantly in my inventory. We're starting to get into, you know, like my favorite parts of the game. And, like, we start to branch outside of the mansion. I really like the parts where... You know, you're going to fight Neptune, the big shark, if you don't know the name. And, you know, like, just, like, you know, seeing, like, new enemies, like, spiders and all that. I really like this part, too, like, going to Lisa Trevor House. And, you know, to me, it's just fun because it's outside of the mansion. Like, if the whole game was based inside of the mansion, I think it would be kind of boring because, you know, there wouldn't be that much to do. It would be much easier. I really love the laboratory part, too, at the end. It's one of my favorite parts. Now, for this puzzle, I do have a key to it. I always remembered that Kim Kardashian's daughter is named Northwest, but then I realized that the red one was supposed to be W for West, and I thought it was N for North because I was thinking like Northwest, so I was like, oh, okay, so N then West, but then I was like, oh, no, wait, it's backwards, so the blue one had to be the N, and then the red one had to be W for the West, because like the dogs basically have to be facing, you know, like the opposites of, you know, each other. 
And, you know, I just came up with that way of Northwest to help out with the puzzle, especially with my speed runs in case I forget. I think it's kind of funny because, you know, you would never expect like a Kim Kardashian reference to, you know, ever come across in like a uh, Resident Evil video. But, you know, it helps. And hopefully now you guys can remember that too. I feel like everyone will remember that because you would never expect that, like I said, you know, Kim K. But yeah, you'll see. Right now I finally got the puzzle and finally going to Lisa Trevor's little cabin. And, you know, on this way to the cabin, there is that little, um, like, little cemetery place with the crows. And I don't know why, but the crows, for some reason, wanted to attack me. I think maybe because it's hard mode. Because I know when I played on, like, easy and stuff, when it, when it was, like, you know, my first playthrough ever, they never wanted to attack me. But I was like, oh, my God, they're really annoying. It could have been because I went to the side a little bit. I always do that when I walk. I know, like, over there, too, you can get the magnum, but I, ne I don't know how to get it. Like, I never actually looked up how to get it. And because of the speed runs, I never thought that it was important. And then, you know, right here, I don't have the audio, but, you know, she does, like, that little, like, weird cry thing. Like, the little scream. I don't even know what it is. It just sounds so weird. <laughs> but, you know, right here, I decided to avoid the zombie and not get hit. Because I know there's, like, a different trail you can take. Or the zombie might even be on the way back. I think I know I went that way just because I thought he would be there. I usually never go that way anyway because it is the longer route, but it's not a speed run anyway, so I really don't care. I know right outside there, this supposed to be a green and green herb or red and green. I know I really wanted it, but you gotta tough it out because it is hard mode, so. Right here, I finally get to the cabin, and this is where you get the crank in order to, you know, take out all the water to get to the little, that little, like, cabin area where Neptune's house is. I think it's crazy how the Spencer estate has like all this in it to me. Like it's just crazy. But right here, I decided to, you know, end the episode because I kind of want to keep it, you know, suspenseful. And the next episode, we will be seeing if I can dodge Lisa Trevor. So that will be interesting. And I'm sure you guys want to see that too. So besides that, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy today's, you know, episode. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, a comment. It really help out the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.